In order to come up with a risk-based sample size for variable data, we go to the ISO 16269-6 standard. The ISO 16269-6 standard talks about statistical tolerance intervals. And when we go to the table of contents of that standard, we can see that it has two relevant sections for us, which is Annex C, the one-sided statistical tolerance intervals. This is if you either have only a lower limit or only an upper limit, but not two limits. The other option is a two-sided statistical tolerance interval, which is used if you have a lower limit and an upper limit. For this example, we go with a one-sided statistical tolerance interval and this is to be found in Annex C. Well, you can see Annex C here. The first thing that you see is the confidence level. The confidence level and the probability or reliability level is determined by your risk management. In this example, we have here in Table C1 the confidence level of 90. And in Table 2, we have a confidence level of 95%. For this example, we go with a confidence level of 95% and a reliability level of also 95%. So in table C2, we talk about a confidence level of 95% and then we can see three more columns, which is the probability. Here is 90, in the middle is a probability level of 95 and to the very right, we have a probability level of 99%. So, like I said, for this example, we stay with 95% reliability. And when we then look into the table, we see a bunch of random numbers. This random, these random numbers are a so-called k-factor that is used to then calculate the tolerance interval. What you can also recognize is to the very left, the sample size n. Well, whenever we talk about statistics, one thing is true the more samples you take, the more information you have about your population. So what we can see here is that when the n increases, the k value also decreases. So with an increase of n, we have a decrease of, a, of the k value. So what do we do next? So our risk management tells us use a confidence level for, of 95% and for whatever uh, property we are inspecting, on the product, we also have to use the 95% reliability. In order to do so, we go to this middle column and then we can basically choose any n that we want to. And we let's, we, for this example, we go with an n of 15 and that means we get a k value of 2.5661. That is the k value for a one-sided statistical tolerance interval but with 95 confidence and 95 reliability and an N of 15. So what do we do with this K value now? We go into uh, the equation to calculate the uh, statistical tolerance interval. And there is this equation. The XL stands for the lower uh, tolerance interval or the U for the upper tolerance interval. Then we say X bar, which is the average of those 15 samples that you took from, a measure, from the measurement and plus or minus depending on whether we want to calculate the lower or the upper tolerance interval k times sigma and sigma is your standard deviation and this k value is the one that we got from here the 2.5661 Thank you so much for your attention. If you really like the content that we are putting out here, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up to the video. See you in the next one. Thank you so much.